Let's look at no one for. Given an array of ints, return true if it contains no ones or it contains no fours. So let's look at one of the samples, this array containing the numbers one, two, and three. Uh, this will be true because although it contains a one, it doesn't contain any fours. And again, we're just looking at or, so it's either no ones or no fours, or both. Uh, and for example, here you can see it contains a one and a four. Uh, this array contains a one and a four, which means that uh, neither of these conditions are true. So we return false. So in order to keep track of whether the array contains no ones or no fours, we will create two separate booleans uh, in order to see like if there's a no one or no four. So let's create a boolean has one and we'll set that to false initially. And we'll create another boolean called has four and we'll also set that to equal false initially. Next, we will iterate through each number in the array using a for loop. And at each uh, number, we want to check if it's either a 4 or a 1. So we'll do if the number is equal to 1. In that case, the uh, it means that the array contains the number 1. So has 1 is equal to true. So uh, we now know that the array has a 1. And for the number 4, we will do the same. So if nums i is equal to 4, then we know that this array has a 4, so has 4 also becomes true. And then at the bottom, we want to return true if it contains no 1s or it contains no 4s. So we want to check either if has 1 is false or if has two, uh, 4 is false. So we do return not has 1 which means that there are no ones, or not has four. So we're checking here, the array doesn't have a one and it doesn't have a four. So it uh, it's e either one or the other. And that's correct. I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will try to answer you as fast as possible. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.